Hello and welcome to Millie White Cooks. If you love a chicken curry, chilli or satay, then I think you'll also want to try one of my best one-pot chicken recipes, my chicken palava. My lighter take of this African dish is a warming, rich, lightly spiced, nutty, slow-cooked chicken and vegetable stew that's perfect for this time of year as it's both economical on the pocket and full of heart-healthy ingredients that are naturally gluten-free too. This recipe feeds four generously and is only 367 calories with just five grams of saturated fat. You can find more low-fat diet recipes in my healthy eating cookbooks. The links are in the detail box below. We'll start by taking a quick look at the ingredients list, which as always I'll give in both metric and American measurements. You'll need eight chicken thighs or drumsticks or like I have a combination of both. These also still have their bones in, which adds great flavour to the dish, but I will be removing the skins before cooking. Here I have 210 grams or 7 cups of fresh spinach plus 3 ribs of celery. You can see that I've removed the strings from the celery and I have a quick cooking tips video showing you how to do this. I'll also be using a red onion, a red, yellow or orange bell pepper and 14 cherry tomatoes. For the spicy nutty sauce, we'll need one red chilli pepper. I buy mine fresh but keep them in the freezer and just defrost them when I need them. In this little dish, I have my aromatics, including a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, two garlic cloves, a peeled knob of fresh ginger root, a bay leaf and one teaspoon of chilli powder. And here I have one tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch and one lime. Now for now for two slightly unusual ingredients. That's two teaspoons of soft brown sugar and two tablespoons of peanut butter. And mine has no added salt, sugar or oil. Along with a quarter a teaspoon of reduced sodium salt and 480 mils or two cups of low salt chicken stock. Finally, we'll need some freshly ground black pepper, a dash or two of Tabasco sauce to taste and some rapeseed oil. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more healthy eating inspiration. Now let's get cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare all the veggies and I start this by putting the cherry tomatoes in a heat proof jug and pouring over some freshly boiled water. I only need to leave these for 30 to 40 seconds then drain them. When they're cool enough to handle I can easily slip off the skins and then set them aside. I've also removed the skin from the red onion, cut it in half and now I'm going to cut it into thin slices like this and then do the same to the celery stalks and then do the same to the celery stalks. Okay, you can see that I've finely minced the garlic cloves and I've also cut the chilli in half and removed the pith and seeds. Then I'm going to finely mince this too. I'm going to de-seed the pepper and cut this into strips as well. I'm using a shallow cast iron casserole or Dutch oven and I've got this over a medium heat. Add one teaspoon of rapeseed oil and spread it over the pan. Then add the pepper strips, onion and celery and gently saute. Once these have started to soften, make some space in the pan and add in the skinned chicken pieces to brown alongside them. Now I'm really cross with myself because I've somehow managed to lose the next clip of video, so let me just explain what you need to do at this stage. Turn the chicken pieces over so that they are nicely golden brown on both sides. Then use a fine grater to grate in one tablespoon of fresh ginger root along with the zest from the lime. Add the minced garlic and chilli and sauté everything for one minute more. Pour over the chicken stock and add the peanut butter and brown sugar. Slacken the corn flour in a little cold water until completely dissolved and whisk this into the pan. Add the skinned cherry tomatoes and stir everything to combine well and then season with salt and freshly ground pepper. Pop in the thyme sprigs and bay leaf. 
Cut the lime in half and squeeze in the juice. Cover with the pan lid. Now you can continue to cook this on a very low heat on the stove as long as you check it every now and then and add a little more water if necessary. However, this time I'm going to pop this into a moderate oven preheated to 160 degrees Celsius fan, 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4. It will then cook in one and a quarter hours to one and a half hours when it should look like this, a lovely thick sauce and beautifully tender chicken. Add the fresh spinach and cover with the lid for two to three minutes until the spinach wilts. Then stir this into the stew. Add two to three dashes of Tabasco to taste and the palava is ready to serve. And I like mine with some steamed brown basmati rice. Goodness, this looks and smells absolutely mouth-watering. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have. You can find more tasty chicken recipes in my healthy eating cookbooks. I have one for those looking specifically for gluten-free celiac recipes that serve two, and another for those looking for low-fat and low-cholesterol options. And these are available as a paperback or Kindle book from Amazon, or as an e-book from iBooks, Nook or Kobo. Links are in the description box below. I hope you'll want to watch more of my healthy cooking videos like these ones here. Thank you so much for your company. Please also let me know if you make this or if you'd like to see a video of any other of my recipes. And um, bye for now.